<laughs> Hi, my name is Jill and I'm here with Putu to share with you the experience of hooking a dog up with the Holter for the first time. Putu's breeder Amber of Farmore Boxers sent me a package today and we are going to give it a go and, and, and see how difficult it is. Puchu has already been tested. Um, he doesn't have any health issues which we're testing for, but it's possible that he can maybe make us grand puppies in the near future. So we are health testing him and see if his heart is good so he can be bred. He thinks it's boring. So we have some instructions which we will read before starting what else is in there oh did you choose this color the holter jacket and all right Okay, so first <laughs> we're gonna read the instructions. Um, Amber says that it's super easy and um, she'll be concerned for me if we can't figure it out. So I'm, I'm hoping I don't disappoint her. Um, stop eating it! Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's enough kissing, that's enough. It's easier to read without the dog. All right, so the instructions are um, basically just telling us everything that's in the Holter kit the supplies that we're gonna need and getting started. She suggests doing a dry run um, without, with all the supplies, laying them out and um, making sure that we don't get the wires on the wrong side of the coat and um, embarrass ourselves. So uh, with that, I think we will take a look at all of, all of the things that she's sent, open them up and then get started prepping the dog. Okay, so in the box we have the Holter monitor. Um, Amber has sent with it a new tape for recording and a new battery. So we make sure that we don't have any power failures on the way. Uh, we have a diary so we can uh, track any, any, I don't know, excitement in the dog. Maybe I guess that's to see if there's uh, an increase in, in heart rate. Uh, probably if someone were to knock on the door, everybody goes wild, something along those lines. Uh, this is the coat, which um, they say is supposed to fit really, really snug. So he's going to look a little bit sausagey in it, but um, it's not a fashion show. So I guess that's okay. He, um, I guess, you want it to be tight just so that the electrodes aren't moving around and um, everything is snug and they get a good reading. And then of course we have the, um, the sticky electrodes to uh, stick onto Putu. Uh, they recommend shaving him. He has a super, super short, tight coat and uh, we don't really think it's necessary. I discussed with Amber and, and she said that we didn't need to shave him. So. Uh, instead of shaving him, we're just going to clean up his coat really well and um, clean him off and rub him down with a little rubbing alcohol, make sure that there's not really any oil or loose hair or anything like that so that the contacts don't come off during his 24 hours. Now that we've unpacked everything, we are going to get Puchu cleaned up. Uh, we chose not to shave him, as I said, so we're just going to wipe down the area where the electrodes are going to go and uh, give him a little wipe down with some rubbing alcohol and dry him off before we attach the electrodes. I want to make sure that Puchu's coat is dry before attaching the electrodes, so I'm just going to hit him quickly with the uh, hair dryer. So we have the electrodes. Um, these are adhesive on one side, which stick to the dog, and then the uh, lead snap on here, as you can see. Okay, so here are the electrodes. Uh, the right side gets three, and the left side gets four, and you have to alternate 
the snaps so each one goes the opposite way luckily there's photos for us to go by so we kind of have some idea where they're going and what it's supposed to look like Luchu says that he prefers blue and green over the purple and yellow so next time next time it matches your leash and everything what were they thinking Okay, so we're gonna put uh, the left side on first, and so that is the four. Armpit first, so. Again, we have four. This is the left. We're gonna squish it in. All right, second one. And then we're alternating. Okay, so we got the electrodes on and it, you know, I think they look like they do on the photo. They seem like they're, they're stuck on here pretty well. Now we're going to put the coat on. We're going to put it on over his head first and then slide his legs through, uh, leaving the electrodes exposed. And then after that, we will get the leads hooked up and the Holter monitor fired up and beeping and ready to go. This is our beautiful Snuggie coat and uh, it's pretty tight, holds everything in place. Um, the wires come through the top of the back here and then hook up to the Holter in there. He really wanted the blue one. So we have the Holter recorder. We have our Def Leopard cassette tape that we're taping over. Just kidding. No one would ever tape over Def Leopard. <laughs> All right. Close head bar. And then put the 9 volt battery in here. It's making noise, so I assume it's working. And you can see this wheel is turning super, super, super slowly. I guess that means it's working. Oh, all right. All right, so we have the recorder all set up now. It's recording, batteries in, and now we are going to take the leads and put them through the tiny little hole back here on Putu's coat and I think we don't need that much all right so the right side has three which are white blue and brown so we'll take the white the blue and Let's see, white, blue, and this looks like brown. This also sort of looks like brown, but I think that's orange. Yeah, all right, so we have white, blue, brown. So we have white on the top one. And we have the blue one. And then we have the brown. 
Other hip. Other hip. All right. There you go. Good boy. Okay. On the left side, we go black, orange, red, green. So black on top. Then orange. The red one and the green one. I know green. You love green. It feels so handsome. Took a boy. And we're going to stick this recorder into his little backpack here and let's see maybe we'll put the he's gonna stuff all these wires in as well and you are set to go all right March 3rd, 2016 at 8 p.m. We've got a prepared dog, electrodes attached. I've been told when the dog is wearing the holter, it should be kind of activities as normal. You don't need to keep them crated or limit their activities if he wants to run around in the yard or go for a walk. He could certainly do so. Um, you know, I think just I would be a little bit concerned leaving him unattended. I would worry that maybe he would try to to get the uh, the electrodes off, but it might be difficult. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, bear. <laughs>